All right, so the very next run after my practice session was a 259.1. I think that's a good enough improvement for today. Um, and that's what I'll be posting this video for. What's, what's my rank? 11th, not bad, 11th. Onto the replay. Into the end car so you can see the gears. This is a tricky corner. It can be taken faster, but not much. Going into the snowbank really slows you down. I like to lift the throttle over these crests. It stabilizes the car with my uh, differential settings. This corner is real tricky. It's easy to get on too much throttle too early. This is uh, deceiving. You want to brake real early for that. And no brakes into the left-hander. This is a blind, a blind apex. I took it a little too early. Could have stayed more right here. It's real easy to go wide into the snowbank on that corner. This I was battling understeer through the corner. This is a really fast three. Take it in fourth. Into the, the two, tight two. A lot of time can be made in this section because of the high speed after this corner. As well as this section, there's another high speed section. Into a real sketchy fourth or it's a fifth gear four into the tight two or square right. These bumps are really, really rough. It's hard to keep the car stable when there's a little too much oversteer. And then dab the brake over that crest. And that could have been more stable, but I didn't hit the snowbank on the outside there, so it was, it was still quick. And there's it, there it is, there's a run. On to the setup for posterity. S1, advanced. I'm gonna open these up first. Everything's the same from last time. Let's move this down here. Suspension, differential. brake bias, and gearing. Alright, till the next one.